On behalf of the Oling House and Waters families, I want to welcome you here today and thank you for coming. We are gathered here to celebrate the union of Taylor and Ashlyn in sacred marriage. Now usually it's customary for the preacher to speak to the crowd in the room, but today I will be speaking to Taylor and Ashlyn and you all get the sacred honor of observing what happens here on this stage and sharing in the joy of watching two people commit themselves to a life of service to each other. The privilege of knowing Ashlyn since I was actually six weeks old. Our parents had us both in the same daycare from before we were even one year old. Now here we are today on her wedding day and getting to be friends with Ashlyn all the years in between has been such a sweet blessing. By far my most favorite part of walking through life with Ashlyn has been seeing her love for the Lord. Watching her fully surrender her life to Jesus and living completely for Him has been one of the most tangible examples of 2 Corinthians 5.17 I have ever seen. And that scripture says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Taylor for around five years. Uh, we had originally met whenever I was in seventh grade. And if you know anything about Taylor, you know he's just super smart, super funny, super athletic, and you know, look at the guy, super handsome, obviously. And But more importantly, he's just an incredible man of God. Uh, it's been really cool seeing how Taylor and Ashlyn have grown together throughout the years, but it's been even cooler seeing them go together spiritually in their passion for Christ. Um, I have no doubt that this next chapter of their life will just be of love and joy and amazing memories that they'll never forget. I'm just really excited to see what the Lord has to do with y'all's relationship. I would like to personally thank the bride and groom, Taylor and Ashton, for this incredible night and thank you all. I love you guys. You look so pretty. <laughs> It's really sweet, Daddy. Mm. It's so pretty. I feel better. You feel better now? Yes. Good. Good, good, I good. Good? good. Just nervous? Just fine. Yeah. yeah. Not super nervous, but. You look so pretty. Taylor and Ashlyn. Just as the Lord Jesus created man and woman in the Garden of Eden to be united in the singular purpose of pursuing Him and displaying the good news of the Gospel, so now we also stand here together in the sight of God and these witnesses to bring you together in marriage to follow Him as one flesh for the rest of your lives. Repeat after me. I, Taylor, take you, Ashlyn. I, Taylor, take you, Ashlyn to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, and here too I pledge my faithfulness, and here too I pledge my faithfulness. I Ashlyn take you Taylor, I Ashlyn take you Taylor, to be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And I here too pledge my faithfulness. And I here too pledge my faithfulness. In accordance with God's word and by the authority vested in me by the Lord God and His church and by the state of Oklahoma, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Taylor, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to be the first to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Taylor
the first time as a married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Only Cow.